excuse me. Oh hey, it's me, Olive, your comic loving queen, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something we've done on our channel before, makeup. Yay! I thought we would do something inspired by a little crafting I was doing, and I thought we'd do a little bronze, like, beautiful goddess moment. So if you wanna see this, like, golden goddess thing, then keep on watching. Um, and today, I started with my base done beforehand to save some time. Mm, she's looking snatched, right? Gorge. Um, but before we get into this video, make sure you check out all my socials at the Olive Cox, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you know every time I make a brand new upload. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out, and we love that. Ooh, just look at this. Gorge. Um, anyway. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. Today I'm going to be doing a lot of like neutrals, so this should be easy to follow. Um, right now I'm just dipping into like a camel brown and placing that in the crease. And with this look, it is very versatile, which, you know, we love verse up in this house. Just building in color as much as I can right here. Oh, but yeah, this look, I was scrolling through Instagram. No, not Instagram. I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and, you know, as most people, I was obsessed with Schitt's Creek and um, specifically Moira Rose, because she is a legend icon and star, um, and we stan her. Um, so Miss Moira, um, a lot of um, the budget for the show went into Moira's uh, wardrobe and everything, and I thought it was really cool that they made like one of her like crown pieces, like accessories, like out of like zip ties. They just did that and like spray painted it, so I was like, that sounds easy enough, so why not try it? And then I did. Oh, and it turned out so cute. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. God is a woman. Ariana was correct. And this is still the same color. Building up as much as I can. And there's something about like browns and neutral like eyes and stuff. It just... We love like color and everything because you know drag, but it is just something about the shadows and browns and stuff that can just like completely reshape the eye and the face. It just is so exciting to me. It's something about browns can like completely like reshape the eyes if you use the right tones and everything. It can add warmth. It can add depth. It's really cute and like I mean that's what drag is. It's just creating new shapes on your face. Feminizing it, if you will, or you know, not necessarily drag kings, you know, masculize, whatever the like male version of feminize is. Uh oh, I hear a dumb bitch coming. Oh, what's that? There's the dumb bitch. Come here and give me a kiss. The disrespect. All right, sorry about that guy. Mother, he was waiting for that. Waiting for that. All right, I did this eye just to save some time and I deepened it up with a deeper brown. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye and show you guys what I did. So I'm just taking a dense brush in a deep chocolate brown and just taking that lower in the crease and placing her where I want her and then we will start blending afterward. I may have placed her in the wrong spot, but oh well, we can start blending her afterward. That's the fun part makeup and once you have that where you want it you can start blending it out with 
a fluffier brush. And dust off the excess. And I try to focus a lot of it right here where the brow is. Um, that's just the look I like to go for. Um, you know, everyone has their preferences. This is just fitting for my eye shape. And then go in with a fluffy brush again and the first shade we went into and blend it out just to soften everything up. Even lower, we're gonna go in with some black just to create more depth. Really make this look pop. All right, I'm going to go map out my liner just to save some time and I will be right back. All right. So here's the thing. Um, went to go do my liner and cut my crease and stuff off camera and um, my eyeball started leaking because, you know, putting, you know, randomly sharp objects near my eyeball. My eye didn't like it. And yeah, my, the tears started breaking up the makeup and, and here we are. So we're gonna pivot in today's video. We're gonna be de-dragging, yay! Um, just because I'm just not thrilled about this. Oh. I was so excited for this face too. Ugh, Kim, people are dying. It's fine. Time to de-drag. So yeah, to de-drag, I usually just take a, one of these bad boys. Just Neutrogena wipe and just go to town on this face. So, what did we learn today? We learned to make sure our uh, Make sure the windows are shut. And I'm back. Um, yeah, which I mean, that's also the worst part about drag is there's so many layers that like, if it completely like fucks up, like what happened? You either have to like, just throw a black all over everything <laughs> to cover it. Or glitter. Or just start over. And since it's fully like foundation and skin that was breaking apart, that might be a bit weird just doing bits of like glitter there. Just randomly under my eye skin. You're so brave. I know. This is me showing vulnerability. Um, really tough time in my life right now. This is a really tough time. I was so pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. Is it? No, I'm like really upset about it. Because I spent so much time on that face. Well, now you can connect with your audience. Let them know sometimes it's okay to just give in. Which, I mean, this is, and I can't say this hasn't happened to me. Like, this one time I was getting ready for a gig and, um, completely, like, this whole spot right here in between my eyebrows was not holding, like, pigment whatsoever. And, uh, which is great because I already had my eyebrows glued down, so. Love that for my journey. So I did, like, completely wipe everything off, or redo my, like, gluing my brows. It was a whole process. All that, and I had, like, a time I was supposed to perform. Like, she was on a time limit. But, you know, she made it. On time, probably not. Just a little fashionably late, you know. She's on drag time. Ah, oh, drag time. Remember when that was a thing? Oh, the show time's at like this time. It's actually like 
an hour and a half later. As the queens just trickle in one right after the other. Ah, oh, you guys, I'm so sad. I even put on body for this look. Do I expose, do I really show my vulnerability? She's padded and everything. It's unfair. You know what else isn't fair? Life's not. Life's not fair. So what did we learn today? Don't cry like a little bitch and then ruin your makeup. It makes everything better. Yeah, make sure you have waterproof makeup. That's fun. And you know, yeah, food is going to help. All right, well. This has been a fun video, something different for me. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know the next time I make a brand new upload and hopefully I'm actually doing something next week, like makeup. Um, help a bitch out because today is yeah, not the day. You guys, I need help like feeling better about this because I'm heartbroken. Like, I Look at me. I'm a mess. Feel bad for me. Actually, don't feel bad for me. I don't like that either. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'll check you guys out next week. And check me out next week. We can do that together. I like that pervert. That's gross. That's nasty. Oh my god, their version of Pokemon. Ah, oh, love. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go watch Bob's Burgers and, you know, eat some food. Yeah, hi. Bye. Ugh, I don't need to do beauty looks today because I look like a fucking hideous beast. Oh well. Hi.